what is going on guys welcome back to another video uh today i'm going to be giving my predictions on the nfl uh nfl team records pretty much uh so i got the list here um the how many wins they're gonna get throughout the season and we'll kind of recap this after the season's over and see how i did uh so starting with the arizona cardinals um, I mean, as long as Kyler Murray can stay healthy, and Marvin Mims, or not Marvin Mims, um, Marvin Harrison Jr. has the year that they think he should, uh, should be pretty good for them. They don't have a great defense, so I'm kind of leaning 0-5 to five route. I think that's probably where I'm going to put them. I mean, their defense isn't phenomenal is it i mean they got sean murphy button i can't really think of anybody else on their defense bj ojolari i don't know but i got them at 0 5 right now i think that they need like another year um and they should be you know probably 10 to 13 again um next up is the atlanta falcons i am gonna put them I'm in the middle here. Defense is really good. Offense is really good. Depends if Kirk Cousins can also stay healthy and if he connects with Kyle Pitts and Drake London. I'm going to go 10-13 to 13 with them. Maybe a bad choice. Maybe not. I don't know. We'll see. Baltimore. Yeah, that's, that's an easy one. Derrick Henry. Lamar Jackson in the backfield. I, the offense is crazy. Defense, amazing too. So, 14-17 uh, for me. The Bills. I don't know. Josh Allen really doesn't have any good targets. <laughs> I'm going to go 6-9. It sounds crazy, but I feel like that's where they're going to be. Panthers, I'm going to go 0-5. 0-5 to five wins, not 0-5, but 0-5 to five wins. I think they're on the right path. Bryce Young could have a breakout year. Um, he could just be a complete bust, and we'll find out soon enough. But, yeah, I think another year or two, they're probably, between, they're probably in 6-9 and probably a wild card in the playoffs. Uh, the Chicago Bears, this one... I'm in the middle here. Their offense is crazy stacked. Caleb Williams, it's kind of the same thing as Bryce Young. Is he going to be a bust or is he going to end up being like CJ Stroud and having a phenomenal rookie season? I'm going to put him 10 to 13. I guess we'll see what happens, but I might regret that. And they're probably going to go 6 and 9, but I have a feeling they're going to be those weird ones with Atlanta and go 10 to 13 win range. The Bengals, Jamar Chase and Joe Burrow, they need to stay healthy. Otherwise, this team probably 6-9. and nine. But if those two can stay healthy, 10-13. and 13. But I'm going to go 6-9. and nine. It, Probably a bad take on both of these guys. But this is, these four right in the middle here, bad takes. I will 100% take that. But I feel like that's reasonable, man. I don't know. The Browns. I like the Browns. They got Jerry Judy now. The defense is crazy. I'm going to go 10 to 13 for them. This is a weird list, and I don't know how I feel about it. Cowboys, they're also in a weird spot, but I feel like they always somehow cheese their way up to getting a top seed in the playoffs. I'm going to go 10 to 13 with them. My Denver Broncos. Not going to have a good year. I don't think so, at least. Our secondary is kind of... Yeah. Uh, linebacker situation is yeah, not good. <laughs> uh, offense is... I don't know. Defensive bonus is good or not, but... 
I don't know. I, I would like to see them 6 to 9 range, but I'm going on 5 with them. Lions, 14 17. They're, they're just. They've just been super good lately. Packers, 10 to 13. Texans, 14 17. It, these three kind of explain themselves, man. Colts, I'm going to go 6 to 9. If Anthony Richardson, Richardson can stay healthy, a lot of these have to base uh, are based on health, really. But yeah, it, they're all good teams, but health reasons, Jacksonville not that great. But no, oh, Trevor Lawrence like was going up, and now he's just kind of he dipped down a little bit. And now he's just kind of plateauing. So I guess we'll see. What happens there? Kansas City, 14-17. That's kind of a no-brainer. Um, they could go three-peat, but I guess we'll see what happens this year. And how that all goes. Raiders, such a weird team. They got a lot of superstars, but just also a lot of missing parts. So it's, I don't know. Chargers are kind of right there, too. I think that they're also in a rebuilding situation like these three. All rebuilding. I'll have a couple great guys on both sides of the ball and just can't get anything done. Uh, Los Angeles Rams. We're going to go 6-9 with I don't think that they're going to be that great this year. I could be completely wrong. Cooper Cup, Matthew Stafford, all getting old. Aaron Donald retired. Yeah, we'll, we'll see what happens, but there there's a chance that they go ten to thirteen. But I I got a feeling they're going six and nine. Miami, ten to thirteen team. Nothing to be said there. They got great running room, great receiving core. Fantastic defense. Everything's good about them. I, I might move them up 14 17, to be honest. Uh, the Vikings. I don't know. Tim Darnold back there with JJ McCarthy out for the season. It's it's a weird one. They could go 6 and 9. We'll see how Justin Jefferson does with Sam Darnold. Uh, there's also a chance that they go 0 and 5. Between 0 and 5, 0 to 5 wins. You know what I mean. 0 and 5, 6 and 9, whatever. Yeah, they're, they're in here, but I'm going to put them 0 to 5. Patriots, I think they're going to sneak up and get 6 to 9. I, I got a feeling. Like they're, 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 on paper, they look like 0 to 5, but I, I feel like they're going to sneak up there, get 6 wins, and I mean, they'll still miss the playoffs, but. Yeah, Saints, kind of in that same boat, but I'm going to go 6-9 with them. Giants, yeah, they're, I don't know. The Giants are the Giants, man. I mean, Romo Dunze, not Rome, uh, Malik Neighbors. I'm messing up all my rookies here. Malik Neighbors, he could be like just pulling an Odell, bro, and just come out of nowhere. And I mean, it's not really out of nowhere, but... You know, just puts on a phenomenal rookie season and lights it up, and they go six and nine. But I, I doubt it. Oh, if I was ever having them, Jets, ten to thirteen. Okay, again, if Rogers stays healthy, if not, probably zero to five. Like it's either one of these two. It's not six to nine. It's ten to thirteen or zero to five. Eagles, I'm gonna put them ten to thirteen. Uh, with Jason Kelsey retired, you know, their offensive line, it, that's a big leadership role on that offensive line. So I guess we'll see what happens there. I, I mean, the rest of their line is pretty good still. But, yeah, with that leadership role gone, it's they, they could stay where they are, take a little step down, or take a giant step down. We'll just have to see what happens. But they're between these two for me, but I'm going to lock them in 10 to 13. Steelers. Yeah, six to nine. I, I feel like that's a safe bet. 
whether you're starting Russell Wilson or uh, Justin Fields, you're anywhere between these three. But I'm just going to go in the middle just to be safe. San Francisco. Go Fort. No. I don't want too many teams up there. 10 to 13. I feel like they're, they're going to be another elite team, but it's... I don't know. Well, I, it's one of those things we'll have to see what happens, but again, they're in these two spots, but I'm just going to put them 10 to 13. We'll see what happens. Seattle, I'm going 6 to 9. Uh, Geno Smith has been... His first year starting was up. Last year was down a little bit. We'll see if he kind of evens that out or gets right back up top. Uh, the Buccaneers, I'm going 6 to 9 with them. They're... All right, nothing great, nothing horrible, but just kind of in the middle of the group team. Titans, I'm going zero to five. I mean, they got Tony Pollard. They lost Derrick Henry, obviously. Um, who do they got for receivers? Trey Burks, Trey Burke, Trey Burks. I, I don't know. I don't know. We'll see what happens with that one, but there's a chance to go six to nine, but I'm going zero to five. And the commanders. I'm gonna put them six to nine. I think they're a solid team. We'll see how Jane Daniels does. It could be you know, I feel like it's a repeat Anthony Richardson situation, so it really depends on his health, but if he stays healthy, man, commanders could be an underdog team. But yeah, that's where I got this list. Um, we'll recap this at the end of the year once the season's done and see how I did. Um, I kind of want to make this like a annual thing every season we do. And yeah, that's going to do it for this one, guys. Let me know what teams you have where in the comments below. Um, I will leave a link to this exact board if you want to use it. Uh, and screenshot what you got to me and um, at me on X. And yeah, let me know what you guys got. I'll see you guys in the next video. Till then, stay cool. Peace.